What's up you guys? Welcome to another vlog. This is another video in my wedding series. Hold on, I have to move my ring light. That made no change at all. Okay, anyway. So I ordered two wedding dresses and that's what we're going to be trying on today and I unpackaged, unpackaged? I opened the first one and it looks super sparkly and I just hope it looks pretty because honestly at this point, kind of want to just give up. I might not even show up to my own wedding. <laughs> That's how stressful this has become. Um, if you want to see me try on another black wedding dress, I will leave the video in the description box, but this is what the thumbnail looks like. Um, that dress was pretty. I might have to make that one work though, if these are not the dress. Um, I'm a little tired, a little tired of the wedding planning and everything. Um, I have a wedding planner. I have help and I'm still just a little stressed. I'm not gonna lie. Um, as far as like the progress of how the wedding is going, we picked the venue, boom, showed you guys that vlog. I hired a DJ, got him. Um, we found an officiant and I have to like meet with her this weekend and see if that's the person that I want to marry us. The guest list is getting a little, a little crazy. I might invite 100 people and like half will show up. You know, um, it's also so hard to work around people's schedules and like, it's, it's a lot. I'm not going to lie. A lot of you guys have asked me about a registry, a wedding registry. So Reese and I put together a registry for our friends and family. Um, but it's just, it has one thing on it, our honeymoon. That's it. We don't need like a toaster or anything. Um, if the wedding registry is ready, um, I will put it in the description box of this video. If you guys want to, you know, gift us with a little bit of coin towards our honeymoon, if you don't want to, it's totally fine. I'm kind of uncomfortable even putting that in there, but so many of you guys have reached out to me and asked me if I'm going to do a wedding registry and we are, but I kind of was just thinking to share it with my friends and family. Because I know people want to do gifts, but we don't really need anything and we are dying to go on a honeymoon to Utah. Which sounds crazy, but there is this amazing resort in Utah. Um, I don't want to go to Hawaii on a honeymoon because the first time I go to Hawaii, I want to go um, to learn about the culture and I don't want to go um, on a honeymoon I mean, I'm gonna be a tourist either way. I don't, I don't live there, but I just wanna respect Hawaii and I wanna respect the land and the culture and the people. And I just don't really wanna go for a honeymoon. No judgment or shame if you've gone to Hawaii for a honeymoon, totally fine. There's amazing resorts there for that. But as I'm learning about the culture of Hawaii, I just feel like I don't wanna go there for that specifically. Just me personally has nothing to do with anyone that's gone to Hawaii for a vacation or honeymoons and not learned about the culture. But when I go for the first time, I wanna specifically go to learn. Um, so. Different vibe than honeymoon. Okay, anyway, let me try on this first dress. I'm so effing scared, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm so scared. <laughs> I bought it on the internet, so I don't know how it's gonna look on my body. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I don't think this one is very flattering on my body. Like, I think it's too, like it's pretty, but I think it's too poofy, you know? I love the front, like just the front, but I love how like low cut it is. We wanna show off the boobies, you know? Um, obviously I'm like, holding it because I can't tie it, but it's, you know, it's sparkly and it's pretty. I just, I would need it like, if this was gonna be the dress, it would have to be a lot tighter. I wanna show off my figure, you know? So it's pretty, but I just feel like it's too poofy. I know this like might sound contradictory, but I want like a tight fitting dress, low cut in the front, low in the back, tight on my butt, and then like a big dramatic train. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking very tight and form fitting, drama in the front, drama in the back, and then a huge long train. That's kind of what I've been thinking since I've tried on what feels like a million wedding dresses, some white, some black, it has to be black. By the way, this is so random. I, I love you guys. So many of you have tagged me on TikTok or on Instagram in, on dress posts, um, black dresses. And then for whatever reason, so many of you have tagged me in white dresses with black flowers. And you guys are so cute. You're like, look at this black dress. And I look at it and I'm like, ew. That's the whitest dress I've ever seen. 
beautiful though. And I just love you guys for tagging me in all of them. I replied to someone yesterday. I'm like, girl, that's a white dress. And we were just like dying laughing over it. And she replied and she thought it was so funny that I thought it was so white and she didn't. It's just, you know, perspective and whatever. But this dress is so pretty because it's so sparkly. It's so sparkly. And I like, like how the light catches. See, the back would have to be <laughs> tied. Someone come over and help me. But it is, it is pretty, you know? It comes with a receipt though, thank God. Because I just don't know. I, I don't think I want poofy. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered it. Okay, let me try on the other one. But this, again, this is like super pretty and I do like it. I do like it, but I just don't know if it's, I don't know if it's enough. So let's do the other one. This is a thousand percent a blue dress. It said black, it said black on the internet. Um, okay, well, let me try to turn off this ring light, hold on. I don't know if you guys can tell, with the ring light off, it kind of looks black in the viewfinder. It's blue, like it is really blue. I'll hold up both of the dresses so you can see. I don't know if you can see, but like, this is a freaking blue dress, bro. Oh, this is, this is not going well pretty but blue i don't think any of my oh, none of my bridesmaids are my size so they're not no one's going to be able to wear this dress even though like it is pretty i mean it has a long train on it i doubt any of my bridesmaids would want to wear a long train anyway but dang man okay back to pajamas i'll be right back in closing i give up <laughs> um so look this is the black one and then, see, <laughs> so I'm not sure if you could see a second ago, but so this is the, there we go. Okay, so this is blue. Pretty, but definitely effing blue. <laughs> Black. So it's been a journey. It has been, it has been a journey, girl. Um, but you know, we're gonna get there. I'm like really envious of men when it comes to the wedding process because like, you know, Reese is gonna go into a tuck shop like whenever. They're gonna take his measurements and like give him a suit that fits him perfectly whenever he decides to go in. <laughs> no pressure, cause you're the dude. And then that morning, he's gonna also wake up like whenever he feels like it. And you know, take a shower, maybe he'll shave do some hair stuff and put on the tux and he's good to go. Well, I will be in hair and makeup for like two hours. <sighs> also, also, this is random. Someone told me that brides don't eat at weddings. You got me up. You got me up. Someone told me that like during the time where everyone's eating, the bride is expected to go table to table and thank people for coming. <laughs> Absolutely not. I will grab the DJ mic from my taco truck and be like, hey, thanks for showing up, man. Tacos are out front. It was such a classy broad. <laughs> oh man. So the dress search, the dress hunt continues. I will keep you guys all updated, but you know, it's not looking good. Outlook not good at the current moment. We have time. It's fine. I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not worried at all. It's going to be okay. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to the channel. It really freaking helps. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.